In this video, we're going to focus on the 22nd fundamental problem from chapter 1. The pin is made of a material having a failure shear stress of 100 megapascals, and we are to determine the minimum required diameter of the pin to the nearest millimeter. We are to apply a factor of safety of 2.5 against shear failure. The first thing you should do in this type of problems is show all the forces acting on the member. You can clearly see an 80 kN force acting on the X component right here. And it is positive. As the 80 kN is pulled to the right, two shear forces are generated to the left at this point. One here, and another one here. These are our two shear forces. Now we apply the equations of equilibrium. In this case, we only have the sum of forces in the x direction. We have 80 kilonewtons, which we can call P, and it is positive, minus your two shear forces and we equate this to zero. We substitute for P, which is 80 kilonewtons, minus your 2B equals zero. Now we solve for B, which is equal to 40 kilonewtons. Now we apply the equation of shear allow, which is given by shear allow equals your shear fail divided by your factor of safety. In this case, the shear allow, the shear fail is given as 100 megapascals and your factor of safety is 2.5. So it's simply just substituting. 100 megapascals divided by 2.5 factor of safety equals 40 megapascals. Now from this equation, we calculate the allowable shear stress, which is given by shear allow equals your force B, your shear force B, divided by your area. In the previous, we calculated your shear allow, which is 40 megapascals. Mm -hmm. So we can directly substitute 40 megapascals into this equation. We have your B, 40 kilonewtons. And your area is simply pi over four. times your diameter square. Let me write this for clarity. For unit homogeneity, we convert everything to Pascal. 40 megapascal to Pascal is simply 40 times 10 to the six convert to Pascal equals 40 kilonewtons, which is 40 times 10 to the three Pascal. And we divide it by the area, which is simply pi over 4 times your diameter squared. Now we solve for your only unknown variable, which is d, your diameter. And this is equal to 0 0.036 meters or 36 I mean 35.6 millimeters. And in this problem, you want it in millimeters. So this is their final solution. If you thought this solution was helpful, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe.